I want you to cast aside all preconceived notions of wealth creation. Forget what you have been told about the need for inheritance, luck, or exceptional talent. The path to abundance that I will reveal to you requires none of these external factors. Instead, it calls upon the most powerful force in the universe. You are imagining... You see, dear friends, the world you perceive around you is nothing but a reflection of your inner state. Your current financial situation, whether it be one of lack or plenty, is a direct manifestation of your beliefs and the images you hold in your mind. To build wealth from nothing, you must first understand that nothing is merely a concept, a starting point from which all creation springs forth. Imagine, if you, if you will, a vast empty canvas. This canvas represents your life, your financial reality. Many look upon this blank space with fear and trepidation, seeing only the absence of what they desire. But I implore you to see it differently. This emptiness is not a void to be feared, but a realm of infinite possibility waiting to be filled with the brushstrokes of your imagination. Now let us delve deeper into the art of creating wealth from this seeming nothingness. The first step is to cultivate an unwavering belief in the power of your mind. Your thoughts, my dear listeners, are the seeds from which your reality grows. Just as a mighty oak tree springs forth from a tiny acorn, so too can great wealth emerge from the fertile soil of your consciousness. To begin this alchemical process, you must first cleanse your mind of all limiting beliefs. These are the weeds that choke the garden of your prosperity. How many times have you told yourself, I can't afford that, or money doesn't grow on trees? These seemingly innocuous phrases are poison to your aspirations of wealth. They reinforce a state of lack and close the doors to abundance that surrounds you at every moment. Instead, I urge you to adopt a new inner dialogue. Speak to yourself as though you're already in possession of great wealth. Feel the emotions of financial freedom coursing through your veins. When you walk down the street, carry yourself with the confidence of a person who knows that abundance is their birthright. But mere positive thinking is not enough, my friends. To truly build wealth from nothing, you must harness the creative power of your imagination. Close your eyes for a moment and picture yourself living the life of your dreams. See the home you desire. Feel the texture of the fine clothes against your skin. Hear the sound of waves lapping at the shore of your private beach. This act of imaginative creation is not mere daydreaming or wishful thinking. It is the very essence of reality creation. For you see, the subconscious mind cannot distinguish between what is vividly imagined and what is physically experienced. By consistently immersing yourself in these mental images of wealth and abundance, you are impressing upon your subconscious the reality you wish to manifest. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Neville, how can mere thoughts and imagination create tangible wealth? To answer this, we must understand the nature of the universe itself. Everything in existence, from the chair you sit on to the money in your bank account, began as a thought, an idea in someone's mind. The great inventors, entrepreneurs, and visionaries of our time did not stumble upon their fortunes by chance. They first conceived of their creations in the theater of their mind. They held fast to these mental images, nurturing them with belief and expectation until they materialized in the physical world. You, my dear listeners, possess this same creative power. The only difference between you and those who have amassed great fortunes is the consistent application of this principle. They have learned to harness the law of assumption, to live in the end result of their desires, and to persist in their vision despite all outward appearances to the contrary. Let me share with you a technique that I have found to be incredibly powerful in manifesting wealth. As you retire to bed each night, close your eyes and construct a scene that implies the fulfillment of your financial desires. Perhaps you see yourself seated in a luxurious office, signing important documents. Or maybe you're strolling through your dream home, marveling at its beauty and opulence. Whatever scene you choose, make it as vivid and real as possible. Engage all your senses. Feel the smooth leather of your chair. Smell the fresh paint on the walls. Hear the sound of your footsteps echoing through spacious rooms. Most importantly, feel the emotion of having achieved your goal. Experience the joy, the satisfaction, the sense of accomplishment 
that comes with financial abundance. As you drift off to sleep, carry this scene with you into your slumber. Your subconscious mind, freed from the constraints of your waking logic, will work tirelessly through the night to align your reality with this imagined state. With consistent practice, you will find your outer world beginning to shift, reflecting the wealth you have so clearly pictured in your mind. But building wealth from nothing requires more than nighttime imagining. It demands a complete revolution in your way of thinking and being. You must begin to embody the state of wealth in every moment of your waking life. This, my friends, is where many falter on their journey to abundance. It's easy to imagine wealth when all is calm and quiet. But can you maintain that state of wealthy consciousness when faced with an empty bank account or a pile of unpaid bills? This is the true test of your faith and the key to unlocking the floodgates of prosperity. When confronted with apparent lack, do not give in to fear or despair. Instead, remind yourself that what you see before you is merely the shadow of past thoughts and beliefs. The present moment, this eternal now, is pregnant with infinite possibility. In this moment, you have the power to choose a new state of being, to assume the consciousness of wealth, regardless of external circumstances. Treat every interaction, every transaction, as though you are already wealthy. When you shop, do so with the attitude of someone who can afford anything they desire. When you dine out, order with the confidence of a person for whom money is no object. This is not to encourage reckless spending, but to cultivate the mindset of abundance that attracts wealth like a magnet. Remember, the outer world is a mirror reflecting your inner state. As you consistently assume the state of wealth, you will find opportunities for financial growth presenting themselves to you. Ideas for new ventures will spring to mind. Unexpected windfalls may come your way. But do not become attached to the how or the when. Your job is simply to maintain the state of wealth in your consciousness and allow the infinite intelligence of the universe to orchestrate the details. Now let us address a common misconception that often hinders people on their journey to wealth. Many believe that to become wealthy, they must focus intensely on money itself. They obsess over bank balances, stock prices, and material possessions. But this approach often leads to frustration and a sense of lack. True wealth, my dear friends, is not about the accumulation of money or things. It is a state of being, a consciousness of abundance that permeates every aspect of your life. When you embody this state, money flows to you naturally, almost effortlessly. It becomes a byproduct of your wealthy consciousness rather than the object of your pursuit. <laughs> to illustrate this point, consider the life of a truly wealthy individual. They do not wake up each morning fretting about their bank balance or scheming how to make more money. Instead, they arise with a sense of purpose. Excited about the opportunities the day will bring, they focus on creating value, on expressing their unique gifts on making a positive impact in the world. This is the mindset you must cultivate if you wish to build wealth from nothing. Instead of asking, how can I make more money? Ask yourself, how can I be of greater service? How can I add more value to the lives of others? As you shift your focus from getting to giving, you align yourself with the natural flow of abundance in the universe. Imagine for a moment that you are a conduit for wealth, a channel through which abundance flows. Your job is not to hoard or cling to money, but to allow it to flow through you, blessing you and others in the process. This mental shift from scarcity to abundance, from lack to overflow, is transforming. As you embrace this new way of thinking, you may find yourself drawn to new opportunities for growth and expansion. Perhaps a business idea that you've long ignored suddenly seems viable. Or maybe a chance encounter leads to a lucrative partnership. Do not dismiss these inspirations or coincidences. They are the universe responding to your new vibration of abundance. But building wealth from nothing requires more than just a shift in mindset. It also calls for inspired action. Many make the mistake of thinking that once they've done their mental work, they can simply sit back and wait for wealth to magically appear. This is a misunderstanding of the creative process. Your imaginative acts your assumption of the state of wealth are indeed powerful. 
but they are meant to inspire and guide your actions in the physical world. When you live from the state of wealth, you will find yourself naturally motivated to take steps that align with your vision. For example, you may feel compelled to learn new skills that increase your value in the marketplace. You might be inspired to start a business that solves a problem you've identified. Or perhaps you'll be moved to invest in opportunities that you previously overlooked. Whatever form it takes, allow your inner state of wealth to guide your outer actions. Remember, dear listeners, that building wealth is not a destination, but a journey. It's not about reaching a certain number in your bank account, but about expanding your consciousness to embody ever greater levels of abundance. As you grow in your understanding and application of these principles, you will find that your definition of wealth itself evolves. True wealth encompasses far more than financial abundance. It includes rich, fulfilling relationships, vibrant health, and a sense of purpose and meaning in life. As you cultivate the consciousness of wealth, you'll find that all areas of your life begin to flourish. Now, I want to address a concern that often arises when discussing the creation of wealth through mental and spiritual means. Some worry that focusing on personal wealth is selfish or materialistic. They fear that pursuing abundance might somehow diminish their spiritual growth or detract from their ability to help others. Nothing could be further from the truth. Embracing abundance and building wealth from nothing is not about greed or self-indulgence. It's about fully expressing your divine nature as a creative being. The universe itself is abundant, constantly expanding and creating. By aligning yourself with this principle of abundance, you are fulfilling your role in the grand cosmic dance. Moreover, when you build wealth from a place of spiritual understanding, you become empowered to make a greater positive impact in the world. Think of the good you could do, the lives you could touch, the causes you could support with expanded financial resources. Wealth in the hands of a spiritually awake individual becomes a powerful force for good in the world. So release any guilt or reservations you may have about desire and wealth. Embrace it fully, knowing that as you expand your own abundance, you expand the abundance of all those around you. Your success does not come at the expense of others. In the infinite realm of creation, there is more than enough for everyone. As we delve deeper into the art of building wealth from nothing, let us explore the concept of gratitude. Gratitude, my friends, is the fertile soil in which the seeds of abundance take root and flourish. It is impossible to experience like when your heart is filled with thankfulness for all that you already have. Begin each day by counting your blessings. Express genuine appreciation for the air you breathe, the food on your table, the roof over your head. Be thankful for your abilities, your relationships, your experiences, both good and bad. As you cultivate this attitude of gratitude, you align yourself with the frequency of abundance. You see, gratitude and abundance are two sides of the same coin. When you are truly grateful, you are acknowledging the abundance that already exists in your life. This recognition opens the floodgates for even greater abundance to flow to you. It's a beautiful, self-perpetuating cycle. But gratitude is not just about giving thanks for what you already have. To truly harness its power in building wealth, you must also be grateful for what is yet to come. Give thanks for the wealth that is on its way to you, for the opportunities that are unfolding, for the abundance that is your divine birthright. This forward-looking gratitude is, is a powerful act of faith. It demonstrates your unwavering belief in the manifestation of your desires. It tells the universe, I am so certain of my coming good that I give thanks for it now, before it has physically manifested. As you practice this attitude of all-encompassing gratitude, you will find that your perception of wealth begins to shift. You'll start to recognize the abundance that surrounds you at every moment. The world will appear richer, more vibrant, filled with endless possibilities for growth and expansion. Now let us turn our attention to another crucial aspect of building wealth from nothing. The power of words. Your words, dear friends, are creative forces. They shape your reality and influence your experience of the world. The language you use when thinking or speaking about money and wealth has a profound impact on your ability to manifest abundance. Pay close attention to the words you use in relation to money. You often say things like, 
I can't afford it, or money is hard to come by. These phrases, though they may seem innocuous, are declarations to the universe. They reinforce a state of luck and make it more challenging to manifest wealth. Instead, consciously choose words that align with your desire for abundance. Even if your current financial situation doesn't reflect it, begin to speak as though you are already wealthy. Say things like, I choose to purchase this, or money comes to me easily and abundantly. This shift in language may feel awkward or inauthentic at first. Your logical mind may protest, pointing out the disparity between your words and your current reality. But remember, you are not describing what is. You are declaring what will be. Your words are shaping your future reality. In addition to changing your everyday language, I encourage you to create powerful affirmations that reinforce your wealthy state of being. These are positive, present tense statements that encapsulate the reality you wish to create. I am a magnet for wealth and abundance. Money flows to me effortlessly from expected and unexpected sources. I am worthy of great wealth, and I accept it now. My income is constantly increasing. I use money to bless myself and others. Repeat these affirmations daily, preferably in front of a mirror where you can look into your own eyes. Speak them with conviction, feeling the truth of these statements in every fiber of your being. As you consistently impress these ideas upon your subconscious mind, you will find your outer world beginning to align with these inner declarations. But building wealth from nothing requires more than just positive self-talk. It demands a fundamental shift in your relationship with money itself. Many people, even those who desire wealth, have subconscious negative associations with money. They may view it as the root of all evil, as something dirty or corrupting, or as a source of stress and conflict. These negative associations act as invisible barriers, preventing the free flow of abundance into your life. To overcome them, you must consciously cultivate a positive relationship with money. Begin to see money as a neutral tool, neither good nor bad in itself, but a means through which you can express your creativity and make a positive impact in the world. Imagine money as a loyal friend, always eager to serve you and support your highest good. Treat it with respect and appreciation. When you spend money, do so with joy and gratitude, knowing that your spending keeps the energy of money flowing and creates value for others. When you receive money, welcome it warmly, like a dear friend coming to visit. Express gratitude for its presence in your life and for all the good it allows you to do. As you cultivate this positive relationship with money, you'll find that it comes to you more readily and in greater amounts. Now, I want to address a critical point that often trips up those on the path to building wealth. Many people, when they begin to apply these principles, expect instant results. They imagine wealth once or twice and then look around bewildered that their physical reality hasn't immediately transformed. My dear friends, while it's true the change can happen in an instant, more often the manifestation of wealth is a gradual process. It requires patience, persistence, and unwavering faith. You must be willing to hold fast to your vision of abundance, even when your outer world seems to come. Think of it like planting a seed. When you place a seed in the ground, you don't dig it up every day to check its progress. You trust in the natural process of growth. You water it, ensure it gets sunlight. And then you wait, knowing that in due time, it will sprout and grow into a mighty tree. Building wealth from nothing follows a similar pattern. You plant the seed of wealth in your consciousness through your imaginal acts. You nurture it with your thoughts, words, and actions that align with abundance. And then you must have the patience and faith to allow it to grow and manifest in your physical reality. During this growth period, it's crucial to maintain your state of wealthy consciousness regardless of outer appearances. This is where many falter. They start strong, imagining wealth and speaking words of abundance. But when their bank account doesn't immediately reflect their inner work, they give up, concluding that these principles don't work. But I assure you, dear listeners, that these principles are as reliable as the laws of physics. Just as gravity works every time without fail, so too does the law of consciousness. 
Your outer world must, in time, conform to your inner state. The key is to persist, to maintain your faith even in the face of apparent contradictions. In fact, those moments when your outer world seems to be at odds with the inner vision are often the most crucial. These are the times when your faith is tested and strengthened by holding steadfast to your vision of wealth. In these moments, you demonstrate to the universe the strength of your conviction. Remember, what you see in your outer world is the result of past thoughts and beliefs. This is the harvest of seeds planted long ago. Your current imaginal work, your present assumption of the state of wealth, is planting new seeds. These will bear fruit in due time, but you must give them the chance to grow. As you persist in your wealthy state of consciousness, you may begin to notice subtle shifts in your reality. Perhaps unexpected opportunities arise. Maybe you receive a small windfall or a brilliant idea for a new venture. These are signs that your inner work is bearing fruit. Acknowledge them with gratitude, seeing them as confirmation that your new state of consciousness is taking root. But don't become attached to these specific manifestations or see them as the ultimate fulfillment of your desire. They are merely the first fruits, the early signs of the abundance that is on its way to you. Continue to live from your vision of complete wealth, knowing that as you do, ever greater manifestations of abundance will flow into your life. Now let's explore another powerful technique for building wealth from nothing, the art of revision. This practice, which I have long advocated, allows you to literally rewrite your past and, in doing so, change your present and future. Here's how it works. At the end of each day, take a few moments to review the events of your day. If you encountered any situations that seem to contradict your desired state of wealth, don't accept them as final. Instead, use your God. Give empowered imagination to revise these events. For example, let's say you checked your bank account and found the balance lower than you expected. Instead of accepting this as your reality, close your eyes and replay the scene in your imagination. But this time, see yourself checking the account and finding a balance that delights and amazes you. Feel the joy and gratitude that would accompany such a discovery. Or perhaps you had a business meeting that didn't go as well as you'd hoped. In your revision, replay the meeting in your mind's eye. But this time, see it unfolding perfectly. Imagine handshakes, smiles, and a successful outcome that propels your financial goals forward. This practice of revision is not about denying reality or engaging in wishful thinking. It is a powerful spiritual technique that allows you to select which version of events you wish to make real in your world. By consciously choosing and vividly imagining the version that aligns with your desire for wealth, you impress this reality upon your subconscious mind. Your subconscious, which knows no difference between what is vividly imagined and what is physically experienced, accepts this revised version as the truth. It then goes to work tirelessly aligning your outer world with this new inner reality. Revision is particularly powerful because it prevents negative experiences from taking root in your consciousness. Instead of going to sleep dwelling on lacks or limitations you encountered during the day, you drift off with a mind full of positive, wealth-affirming experiences. This sets the stage for greater manifestations of abundance in your future. As you consistently practice revision, you may find that fewer and fewer experiences need revising. Your days will naturally begin to align more closely with your vision of wealth and abundance. This is a sign that your new state of consciousness is becoming dominant, overriding old patterns of lack and limitation. Now, my dear friends, as we continue our exploration of building wealth from nothing, let us delve into the concept of detachment. This may seem counterintuitive at first. After all, if you desire wealth, shouldn't you be intensely focused on it? But the truth is, attachment to outcomes can actually hinder the manifestation of your desire. Detachment doesn't mean you don't care about becoming wealthy. Rather, it means you're not anxiously waiting for it or desperately needing it to happen. You live in the calm assurance that wealth is already yours in consciousness and therefore must manifest in your physical reality. Think of it this way. When you order a package online, you don't spend every waking moment anxiously awaiting its arrival. You place the order and then go about your life. 
confident that it will be delivered. This is the attitude to cultivate towards your desire for wealth. Place your order with the universe through your imaginal acts, your assumption of the state of wealth. Then release it. Go about your life from the calm, confident state of someone who knows their good is on the way. This detachment allows the universal forces to work on your behalf without the interference of anxiety or doubt. Detachment also frees you from the tyranny of how. Many people block their own abundance by insisting that wealth must come to them in a specific way. Through a particular job, investment, or business venture. But by doing so, they limit the channels through which the universe can deliver their good. Instead, remain open to all possibilities. Your wealth may come through expected channels or it may arrive in ways you never could have anticipated. Your job is not to figure out how it will happen, but to maintain the state of wealth in your consciousness and to be receptive to all opportunities that present themselves. This brings us to another crucial point in the art of building wealth from nothing, the importance of inspired action. While it's true that much of the work of manifestation happens on the inner planes, this doesn't mean you should sit back and wait for wealth to magically appear in your life. The assumed state of wealth will inspire you to take actions that align with your vision. You may feel compelled to learn new skills, to network with certain individuals, or to pursue opportunities that you previously overlooked. These nudges from your intuition are the bridge between your inner work and your outer manifestation. The key is to ensure that your actions spring from your assumed state of wealth, not from a place of lack or desperation. When you act from the state of wealth, your actions are calm, confident, and inspired. You're not frantically chasing money, but rather allowing your inner state to guide you towards opportunities for expansion and growth. For instance, like a wealthy person doesn't desperately search for get-rich-quick schemes. Instead, they calmly evaluate opportunities make informed decisions, and take decisive action. Begin to approach your financial life in this manner, acting as the wealthy individual you know yourself to be in consciousness. Remember, every action you take is a declaration to the universe. When you act with confidence and certainty, as though your wealth is already a done deal, you send a powerful message. The universe responds to this energy orchestrating events and aligning circumstances to match your assumed state. Now, as we near the conclusion of our discussion on building wealth from nothing, I want to touch upon a vital principle that underpins all we've explored, the law of assumption, this law, which I've expounded upon throughout my teachings, states that by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled, you can bring it into your physical reality. In the context of wealth creation, this means that by assuming the feeling of being wealthy, the confidence, the freedom, the generosity that comes with great wealth, you begin to shift your reality towards that state. You are not pretending or engaging in make-believe. You are actualizing a state that already exists in potential, bringing it into manifestation through the power of your consciousness. To leverage this law, you must be willing to die to your current concept of yourself in relation to wealth. Let go of the identity of someone struggling financially or working hard to make ends meet. Instead, assume the identity of a wealthy, abundant individual. Live from this new self-concept consistently and watch as your outer world reshapes itself to match this inner assumption. This does not mean denying or ignoring your current financial circumstances. Rather, it's about shifting your point of awareness. Instead of identifying with your present conditions, you identify with the state of consciousness that will bring about the conditions you desire. As you consistently assume this new state, you'll find that your thoughts, feelings, and actions naturally align with those of a wealthy person. You'll make decisions differently, approach opportunities differently, and interact with money differently. These shifts, though, they may seem subtle at first, are the levers that move your entire world. In closing, my dear friends, I want to remind you that the principles we've explored today are not mere theory or wishful thinking. They are based on the fundamental laws of consciousness that govern our universe. Your ability to build wealth 
From nothing is as natural and inevitable as a seed growing into a tree when planted in fertile soil and given proper care. The fertile soil, in this case, is your consciousness. The care you provide is your consistent mental and emotional alignment with the state of wealth. As you nurture this seed of abundance within you, it cannot help but grow and bear fruit in your outer world. Remember, the world you see around you is nothing more than your consciousness pushed out. Your current financial reality is the harvest of seeds you planted in the past. Your past thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions about wealth. By planting new seeds through the techniques we've discussed, you set in motion a new harvest of abundance. Do not be discouraged if your outer world doesn't change overnight. Just as it takes time for a seed to sprout and grow into a mighty tree, it may take time for your new state of consciousness to fully manifest in your physical reality. The key is to persist, to hold fast to your vision of wealth, regardless of appearances. Know that from the moment you assume the state of wealth in your consciousness, you are wealthy. Your outer world may take time to catch up, but make no mistake, the shift has already occurred where it matters most in your consciousness. So go forth, my friends, and claim your divine inheritance of abundance. Know that the power to build wealth from nothing lies within you, waiting to be awakened and expressed. Live from the state of wealth. Embody it in your thoughts, words, and actions, and watch in awe as the universe moves to match your inner conviction. You are the operant power in your world. You are the author of your financial story. Write it boldly with the pen of imagination dipped in the ink of unwavering faith. Your wealth is not something to be pursued or achieved. It is a state to be assumed here and now. In this eternal moment, choose to be wealthy. Feel it, believe it, live it. And so it is.